Part 1 In this video lesson, you will learn how to draw an anatomically correct portrait. The model for this portrait will be the marble statue carved by French sculptor Guillaume Cousteau. This sculpture is displayed in the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. The skull and shoulder bones. Let's begin with the skeletal anatomy. The spinal column has two distinct curves, the curve of the neck region and the curve of the ribcage region. They are arched in opposite directions. We see the model's head in profile. From this point of view, the head can be inscribed by a square. By dividing the height of the skull in half, we can locate the position of the eye socket. Right behind the ear channel, there is the bony process on the base of the skull. This is the place where the neck muscles attach to the skull. The cranium section of the skull consists of eight bones. They are fused together and form the cranium dome and the cranium floor. The facial part of the skull is formed by 14 bones. The lower jawbone is the only bone of the skull that moves. The U-shaped tongue bone is located underneath the lower jaw. The neck region of the spine consists of seven vertebrae. This number is not unique for humans. In fact, many animals have seven bones in the neck spine. The outer edge of the collarbone is connected to the shoulder blade in the part that is called the acromion of the shoulder blade. This acromion hangs above the shoulder joint, protecting the head of the upper arm bone. To depict the three-dimensional nature of these bones, I will apply a watercolor wash. For this purpose, I will use a single color tint. Such technique is called the griselle. 